There are 18 exam papers in total, including the physics paper, the chemistry paper, and the biology paper. No two of these three papers may be taken consecutively. There is no restriction on the order in which the other papers may be taken. Find the number of different orders in which these 18 papers may be taken. It will be more useful to find the required number of orders as the total number of orders minus the number of orders corresponding to the unwanted situations. And unwanted situations here are when two papers among biology, chemistry and physics are together or when there are three consecutive papers. So when three papers are together, it automatically means that uh, two papers are together, which is unwanted situation. So since there are 18 objects in total, there are 18 factorial ways to rearrange them. And let's subtract the number of ways corresponding to the situations when uh, there are two consecutive papers uh, among biology, uh, physics and chemistry, or when um, the two papers are together. So it uh, looks like, the, uh, like this, uh, physics, biology, biology, physics, physics, chemistry, chemistry, physics, biology, chemistry, chemistry, biology. And there are 16 remaining papers. And to find the number of ways to rearrange them, we can see that, uh, for example, here, physics, biology as one object and plus 16, so there are 17 objects in total. And the number of ways to, re to rearrange 17 objects is 17 factorial. And since there are six situations, so we just multiply by six. And you may uh, suggest that you need just subtract, uh, subtract uh, the number of ways corresponding to the situations uh, when uh, there are three consecutive papers and you get the correct answer, but it will be not correct. And uh, why? You may notice here that among these 16 remaining papers there is chemistry. And when you provide these 17 factorial rearrangements, there will be the next uh, situations. So it will be PBC, CPB, BP. C, C, B, P, P, C, B, B, P, C, C, P, B, B, C, P, B, C, P, B, B, C, C, P, B, B, C, P. So you can see that uh, situations or number of orders corresponding to the situations when there are three consecutive papers, it is already subtracted, but it's subtracted twice, because you can see that there will be uh, PBC together uh, once, and uh, uh, also there will be PBC. And you can see that half of these uh, variants it is subtracted twice so we need compensate compensate what number of uh, rearrangements when uh, three papers are together among biology chemistry and physics and um, uh, there are 15 remaining papers so we can see there again uh, this uh, as one object so there are 16 objects in total and we can see six variants, so it becomes plus six multiplied by 16 factorial, and it is equal to this value. And that's all for this question.